we are joined by Ms. Bina Gautam, a senior education consultant at Parramatta Aussies Group. She comes with an experience of approximately six years in an international education industry, both onshore and offshore. She is here to share information regarding the benefits of studying trade courses like carpentry, painting, building and construction. We're also joined by Ms. Julie Lee, marketing manager at Liberty Construction College. Our experts will be waiting to take your questions. Please post your questions in the chat box and we will answer the queries at the end of the session. Also, we have some very exciting giveaways for our attendees. We want to take the session deep and interactive and encourage questions and feedback. We have a bumper cash prizes to claim for the ones who leave the most descriptive review under this Facebook post. I'll be putting the link in the description box. Tag your friends at hashtag Aussies Education Summit 2022, hashtag Aussies Group in the comment section along with your feedback. Also, the most participative audience member from the chat box is eligible for free giveaways, such as free PD coaching, IELTS coaching, PR consultations, etc. We encourage you to come be a part of our summit. Hello, everyone. I'm Bina. Uh, today, I'm here to present the Education Summit 2022 presented by OSIS for the, some of the TRED courses, Carpentry, Painting and Building and Construction. Uh, here I will submit like the course requirement, career outcome, and the, the PR pathway also, some of the part of the PR pathway also. Okay. So yes, as this Arlene mentioned, please don't forget to participate in our bumper con contest. So she have already mentioned you everything. Okay. So what are the, uh, actually like first, let's see, what is the thread course? Okay, the course that will make you prepare for a job like exactly when you complete your duration of the course you will be prepared for your work like whatever you study like cookery carpentry painting building and construction you once you complete your course like two years of duration you will be able to work in your field that is the trade course so we will discuss about the study option and the benefits of trade courses uh why trade courses like this friend might think like why trade courses because back in our home, home country the trade worker are not so like highly recognized and they they look at the low level of the job but here in abroad uh, compared in the australia we can see like the it's a uh, most affordable fee the trade courses definitely it's lead to the pr pathway with the less point so it means like there are less competition um yes also they are eligible for p uh postgraduate visa that is 485 which is which is going to be two years soon and also it's the like highly demand occupation so uh you can also get the job in your field as i mentioned before and most important thing like once you start getting the job in your field the payment range is very high like once you get the qualification you get a job in your field the payment range is very high like approximately it's 61 like on average per hour yes so when we talk about the trade courses and being an international student there are definitely some requirement uh, to enter in these such courses okay so there isn't such a huge uh, requirement or the difficult requirement the only few requirements is like you must be 18 and above of your age the minimum qualification you require is 12 or equivalent so equivalent means like you might have some qualification back in your home country relating to this field that is also accepted definitely the uh, international language requirement is there so uh, IELTS it's 5.5 not less than 5 and equivalent so it's very easy to get the entry requirement or get the admission in this sort of courses okay Many students have the question like, uh, what after completing the course? Like there are different different courses running in the Australia, like everywhere. So a student might think like, what after completing the carpentry course? So the, after completing the carpentry course, you can see like you will you will be a carpenter in the commercial form work or the residential. So there are different different carpenter in the different different field. So you can be also a joiner, painter, and decorator as after completing the painting course, builder after the building and construction course, 
leading hand and site supervisor and construction supervisor also. So it's not only like once you complete the carpentry, you will be a carpenter only. So carpenter also, they have the different, different categories. So, and you can also work in your, um, the interested field. Like if you want to work in a commercial field, you can go on the commercial field. If you want to work in a firm work, then you can go for that. If you want to work for a residential, like the buildings and everything, you can go for that. Painting, it's not a simple painting. You can do the um, like residential painting, commercial painting, and even the decoration part. Building and construction, it's not about only doing the um, the labor work. It's about like even if you can get the construction supervisor work also. So there are different, different career outcome for these courses. Yes. So uh, Shreen might have the question like, what after completing of this course? As I have already mentioned, this course lead to the PR, but definitely there are some requirement to lead to the PR and there are some step also. So after completing of your two years, of course, also like the 92 weeks of your course, uh, you need to have during that 92 weeks of the course or before you finish your course, you need to have 360 hours of placement mandatory. So with this, like two years of course completion and your placement completion, you will be eligible for the provisional skill assessment and you will be eligible for 4852. So after the provisional skill assessment and the 485, 485 during your 485, you need to have like uh, 1,725 hours work experience in one year. It means like the 35 hours per week comparatively, and also you need to have six band each. So after completion of your two years course, after your provisional skill assessment, after you fulfill your uh, full skill assessment requirement, then you will be lead to the PR pathway. Yes. So uh, once the student, like everyone here come in the Australia, they want to know like what I'm studying does they have the future or not? Or whatever I'm studying right now, does they lead to the, um, like I will be able to get the job or not? We have seen many people studying something else and working in some other field. So definitely this trend might think, like nowadays this trend has become very smart and they can research everywhere. But to support your research, I'm presenting this one. You can find here like the strong demand, like, Individual state, you can see the strong demand of the uh, trade worker here, like everywhere it is a shortage. Like you can find shortage of every trade worker uh, in every state according to the labor market and the future demand also there is like moderate type. So still there is a hope like you will get a job in your field once you complete the, this sort of trade courses in any state. It's not only in the Anister Blue or Victoria or Queensland, you can move to any other state regional or any other place also. Yes, so we have seen many people working in this field and you might have a question like after, like many is it people also work in this field. So uh, you might feel like whether they have done the qualification or not. So um, as there are many vacancies and the people are not studying and they can't find the suitable candidate for their vacancies, they are hiring, but you can see here the difference. So uh, like there are only the few people who are proper, like who have like a uh, suitable profile for the job application. So if you study in this course, so there are many vacancies going on by the state. You can see in the overall Australia also, you can see that. So if you check, like, uh, let's see, in the NSW, there are only the, um, among the 8.3 uh, percentage, there are only 2.1 percentage people are eligible, like with a suitable profile, they are going, they are getting the applicant. And there are like vacancy of 8.3. So you can imagine like how many gaps are there and how many jobs are there in every state. You can check in the NSW, uh, according to this bar graph, I can say like Tasmania have the most, and you can check in other state also. Okay, so it's uh, this is the one as per like previously I explained you about the state wise the overall trade courses vacancies, but here you can see the um, like individual trade courses vacancies and the um, suitable applicants for those vacancies by the trade courses. 
Okay, so you can hear, you can see the painting trade worker. They have like 9.5% uh, uh, people's like vacancies and only the 2.3 are like uh, suitable candidate for those occupations. So you can see like there are many vacancies going on and every year like they are posting thousands of vacancies and they are not getting the people. So you can't imagine like how many job vacancies are going on. And once you complete this course, this like the, your future will be secure in your field and you will get a job. OK, so this is the future demand depending on the like different different occupations. So here you can see the bricklaying, carpenter, joiner. You can see the moderate future demand is 100 percent, like most of the uh, trade worker occupation future demand is 100 percent. You can see with the construction trade workers, it's the 94 percent and the uh, floor painting and trade worker, it's 100 percent. So like after the completion of this course, this will definitely like looking at this um, review or the, the sites, I can say that after the completion of the course that you will not be struggling about the getting the job in your field. You will definitely get the job in your field and you can select the state also where you want to move. So guys, this was my presentation. So do you have any question? Then you can come ahead. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Bina. I don't think we have any questions. Um, Julie, you can continue the session. Just. Yes, Charlene, I can take over. Thank you, Pina. That was a great information, actually. Thank you. I learned so much from your PowerPoint as well. Thank you so much. Thanks. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Julie Lee. I'm from Liberty Construction College. I quickly share my quick. Uh, hopefully, you can see my presentation. So basically, Bina already uh, mentioned about uh, what's important about the trade courses. And um, we all here, I guess most of the students are from international background, overseas background. So we quickly talk about our college. You know, we have a construction company in Australia last 20 years. So we build the uh, quite big, large um, size of a building in Australia. For example, the airport, airport big uh, shopping center like uh, Karinda Shopping Center, Garden City Shopping Center, that was our main company in Australia. So throughout this time, we faced a bit of issue about uh, labor shortage in construction site. So our CEO wanted to open the college so we can actually teach the student hire these people for all this uh, industry who looking for construction workers. Same thing to our company as well. So that actually started happen five years ago. All of our students got all this job opportunity through our college, our connection, friends of our company. So they, you know, they most of our students already got a job and they have a successful rate of their uh, visa and um, skill assessment as well. So which is that's really happening right now. So I have a fully confidence uh, backing up for Pina's uh, presentation that's really happening. So basically we are only delivering construction courses, same as uh, what we said, Liberty Construction College. So we have a painting, carpentry, joinery, tiling, building and construction, what Pina already mentioned about this, very important courses we providing for international students. And um, we actually designed these courses to suit for international students to apply the future visa process. So basically, if you are thinking to study these courses, uh, the number one, I would like to stay in Australia, be longer for work or permanent residency wise. This course is 
hundred percent I recommend for you guys. And then our course is fully designed to um, for your your future visa process, so you don't need to worry about it. Everything designed for the package course and the duration, the the log book hour, everything combined for students. So, for example, uh, I'm interested to study carpentry course. Yes, that's our main carpentry course's uh, biggest sales for international students. The number two is tiling and the same as painting and joinery as well. Carpentry is very popular and a lot of a job available in Australia, especially now we're getting so many phone calls from industry connection. They are looking for students so they can hire. So the one thing that I want to let you know that um, even you're studying with us, right? For example, I joined uh, February intake. So you joined to the carpentry course February intake and then you study about uh, three months with us then our uh, trainer will let me know that okay the student um, Abra he's actually excellent in theory and he's looking for job then they're gonna be in our database that I'm going to start to looking for job for them as well so if they have already experienced then over, of course soon as they start I'm also engaging the uh, construction company for them so they can work and study so that's going to be happening for all of our students. And so it depends on the student, the experience, level of study, uh, that probably the duration might change it, but they're definitely going to have a job opportunity through us. That's free of charge. You don't have to pay us. We will help the student. So duration, definitely we design for the one and a half a year, another six months for full two years packages so they can apply future graduation visa. So within that time, they can work and study, accumulate the logbook hour so they can apply the future uh, visa process as well. So at the moment, another thing is um, we have a huge discount happening for the uh, courses. So it is our fifth year celebration. So we give a big promotion price for the student. So if any student thinking about study these courses, great chance, especially this year. And most of the classes, we are actually running the online class. So if you are working, you're busy, you still have to work because you have to pay the tuition fee. You got to live a lifestyle in Australia. Big opportunity for you guys as well. So, you know, also our students say, look, I already working as a carpenter. I already have a job as a painter and I have a friend who can help me with the work placement. Uh, not a problem. If you have any this special condition, we're more than welcome to help a student. So you can come to us, discuss about your current situation. We can design the uh, study schedule for the individual student as well. So it can be very flexible. Especially in this pandemic time, we're more than happy to assist our students. So it can be easy for you know students as well as their work relationship. Because we understand that you need to work. We understand that you need assistance. So we're more than happy to assist. As long as we have full information about your current uh, situation, we're more than happy to help. Let's say students say, look, uh, I love to study trade courses. I love to apply the permanent residency throughout these courses, but I'm worried about the study. Maybe study is too hard. Maybe the too expensive for me to study. This problem is no longer problem for all of international students. For example, payment wise, we do have a, a discount to promotions straight away. So you will experience much cheaper than any other year. So you can definitely afford to pay. And number two, uh, about the study, I'm scared to study and I don't want to study. I'm too stressed about the study. We have a fully sp support for academic uh, assistant. So we have, for example, when student coming in, we have one designated academic support team. We go to individual student to support all the way through the graduation time. So you will get full support full assistance for your assessment, so you don't need to worry about this. So again, uh, some of the students probably have a bachelor degree background, 
from their country or in Australia, master degree, and they want to study uh, the trade course concurrent, so they can have a two option. That's not a problem as well. We do have many cases in this uh, case coming through, and they're doing very uh, fine with the uh, concurrent study as well. So, you know, I'm not quite sure right now in your individual cases, but please come forward and discuss about your cases. And then we're more than happy to discuss how we can find a solution to support you to study in this angle as well. And another thing I want to talk about is female. The, OK, let's say I'm a, I'm a girl. I, I, I'm not sure that I can work as a painter. I can work as a tiler. It sounds great that it looks like easier than hospitality, easier than maybe uh, finance. Maybe I can have a more opportunity to study uh, or uh, to get the future visa process, but I'm not sure whether I can do it. I don't have this kind of background. We have many female students study tiling and painting and carpentry. So don't think about that. I'm just going to work as a carpenter and painter and tiler at the work site under the sun and, you know, working with the other guys and very hard. It's not about just the uh, you know, physical activity at the work site. There's many angles that you can go, even you study painting, carpentry. You can actually get this degree, but you can uh, working as a, um, you know, the office uh, environment. You can work for the big tiling company. You can work for the construction company. The reason why you can go to the extra uh, career opportunity because we do have a package with the certificate for building and construction. So certificate for building and construction is all about the theory base and office environment in construction area. So you can actually have an extra career working as a uh, you can so uh, like construction survey administration uh, administration at the construction company you can also work for real estate company to selling the uh, houses and commercial buildings so there's many angles you can think of it so this is the start point of a trade trade skill that you can gain and then if you study certificate for and diploma of a building and construction you can go even higher office environment job uh, experience as well. So there's many angles we can go for it. I can't cover every information in this seminar, but you know, I'm more than happy to, if you contact us, explain one-on-one -on -one individual case and more information about it. So another thing is that I want to give you one example of our student. So one of our students, he's from India and he had a master degree of business. So he couldn't apply the visa because of the condition that time immigration department didn't allow him to do it. So he decided while he's on 485 visa, study a, a carpentry course with us. He successfully completed the carpentry course and now he's going through the skill uh, job rate program. He's very happy and he has a higher chance to stay in Australia and he was very, um, you know, happy with his uh, study uh, time because after he studied three months, he already got the job as a carpenter, assistant carpenter. He was earning thirty dollar per hour while he studied, so he was earning uh, nearly thousand dollar per week. You can see it's really good money he can earn compared to, I have to say, compared to hospitality job. So you can see uh, also another thing is you can work as a contractor point. So you can work more than 20 hours per week as well. At the moment, the uh, government will uh, lift to the conditions so you can work more than 20 hours. But even before this happened, uh, in most of our students been working more than 20 hours on the contractor position as well. So that is a really good uh, you know, opportunity for the finance wise. So throughout the pandemic time, most of our students didn't have a much big issue to pay the tuition fee and paying their on uh, living uh, cost in Australia. So that perspective, why you you can think, okay, I don't have a lot of money to study. What can I do? 
that is not a big issue. Once you enroll and you start to gaining the experience and skill, finding that finding job is not a big issue in this industry. More issues, at least you don't want to work. There's plenty of work out there waiting for you. So I can guarantee about that. Um, so enrollment, enrollment process for us very quick. Normally we finish it, as long as you submit your paperwork, we can finish 24 hours. We don't take too long with the process wise. So what about, okay, I don't have a much English test uh, resort. Oh, what should I do? I don't want to go and do the PT again. I don't want to do the IH again. We do have an internal LNN English testing. Very simple. You can do online. It won't take uh, more than 20 minutes for you to complete. So you can contact us about that issue that we can also provide another free of charge English test as well. Then you can easily enroll with us. And we do uh, Package wise, as I already explained, that we do have a carpentry, tiling, and also uh, painting and building and construction. So you have a variety of choice of a trade background you can choose from our colleagues. And we also have a regional campus as well. So we have a Brisbane, Sunshine Coast, Adelaide. So what's the good about us? And you can actually choose where you want to go. You can go to the regional, you can stay in Brisbane. For example, I probably want to stay in Brisbane for start with, but later on, I might want to go to Sunshine Coast. Not a problem. We can design the package location to suit for your needs. So you start with the Brisbane, you can later on transfer to our Liberty Regional uh, Campus as well. So even in regional area, it's still in the city. So you can still enjoy your activity, your life study in there. It's not like there's nothing around the, is a you know, remote regional area, still regional, but you are within the city area. So you can still enjoy your lifestyle. So that's the really good thing about flexibility with our college. And also we do have a monthly intake. So you can uh, make a decision anytime and you can enroll any month that you're ready to study. So as you can see the price wise, even the COE amount, we reduced big time for students. So it's only $500 to enroll in the courses. So you can see the, you know, the pressure of the finance is a lot less and then you can take advantage of this uh, special promo, promotion price as well as this pandemic time. So, the last year, the education department has updated all the trade back, uh, trade courses. So now we're delivering all brand new, new CPC package for all of our students. So you will take another advantage that with the new update to CPC package you will receive from us. And as I told you about the study benefit, we do have a 360 hour for tiling courses and 400 hour for carpentry course within package course time so you don't have to worry about go look for the work site go asking for can i have this hour we do everything for students so we arrange everything we also you know give a job opportunity for students so this combined will help you to apply the psa documentation which bina will assist you uh, in future for skill assessment so we combine all these necessary requirements for students. You will receive all this documentation end of your graduation time. So there's no stress, all ready to go for you. And as you can see, uh, discount to the price and monthly intake, very flexible. We have a one-on-one -on -one personal team will engage with each student. So we'll assist with the finance issue, academic issue, any progress issue we will support. So students will feel, you know, a lot of support they're getting from our college. Even they study some point with online, they wouldn't feel like they're studying online because we will contact them regularly to find out if they need any help and assistance. So they feel pretty uh, satisfied with our system. So this is another new system we updated this year in 2022. So any student study, online they don't feel comfortable they feel behind 
they don't have to feel any uh, feel that anymore because we are going to give them full support from our team. So, so that's a. So far, I think I cover most of the information in here. So I'll probably hand over you guys. If any student has a question regarding our college or uh, course, uh, please feel free to uh, send the message to us. Hopefully we get some uh, question. Uh, thank you so much, Julie. That was an interesting session. Um, do we have any questions for Bina or Julie? I have a question, Charlene. Yeah. Um, so all of these students, are they in like overseas or onshore? Uh, I think uh, as far as I'm concerned, I think uh, it's mixed. We have uh, offshore and onshore students in the session. OK, so some of the students may attending this uh, seminar in their country and some probably on off, uh, onshore yes. as well. Yes. So maybe. If I was a student, I might not feel comfortable to speaking English to us. So probably they're thinking if I'm in offshore background, I'm probably curious that, uh, you know, can I go to Australia now? Is Australia ready for me to accept? You know, maybe I'm from Nepal, Sri Lanka, India. Yeah. Am I able to study? Can I go? Maybe that's going to be my first question, Bina. Can they come to Australia now? Can they go to the OG group? I want to study in Australia. Can I go? Can you accept? Yes, of course, because like Australia has, as everyone know, like right now they need the people here. Even the if the, even the students are studying the carpentry course, painting, building and construction, they can work in their field. So definitely, if anyone is interested in the, this sort of grad courses, they are welcoming a lot. OK, so for example, student offshore say, you know, maybe Tanya and uh, OK, I might go to Australia study painting, so I'm going to go to Oz group and um, discuss about the uh, painting course to go to Australia, then they can start to prepare their paperwork um, and apply the student visa to get ready to go to Australia then. Yes. I guess if they double vaccinated, right? Yes, definitely. So, so they can start to right now and prepare to go to Australia. Yes. Yeah. For example, maybe so student probably thinking throughout the pandemic, I don't have much money. So how much money do I need to have it? So are they really expensive? I'm scared to study in English. Probably that's sort of a point. They probably think that as well. So with the money wise, most of the college, right, Shelley, how much do they have to have it? And maybe rough figure so they don't feel scared or maybe I'm not that rich. That's only for the rich people to go in Australia to study, but not really, right? That's not really true. Yeah. I can hear you, Shalin, your voice. Yeah, that's actually a myth because initially when I had to come to Australia to study, even I thought that, you know, I'll have to spend so much money. Should I go? Should I not go? So that's definitely. But as I came here, I realized there's so, there's so many courses which you don't have to pay that much for. Exactly, but I guess many students doesn't know about that. They're thinking, oh, OK, studying overseas is only for the rich kids, yeah. uh, only for the people who has a lot of money or some sort of money. That's what they're thinking. Yes, that's true. But even you don't have a money, you do have a chance and opportunity in Australia. That's really good about Australia, right? Same thing to me. When I came to Australia, I only had a five hundred dollars. And then I work here and then I save money and then I uh, study in Australia. So I think uh, people should know about that, right? And there's a, a lot of work, right, Bina? There's yes. a lot of work in Australia, right? Yes, and also for trade courses, I don't think like a student has to pay the huge amount uh, at first. 
Right. So they can pay only one term or the six month fee. Even the credit courses fee are very less compared to the any other courses like the degree. Yes. So if they pay the six month fee, once they come here, enroll in the credit courses, as the Zuli said, they, there are the colleges like the Zulis, they help the student to get the job in their field. So they can earn the money and then they can pay the fee in the installment. So mm -hmm. it's very easy for the student to come in the credit course with affordable fee and they can also sustain and get the job also. So yeah. I think the, those students who can't afford financially uh, and who can't go for the degree like higher degree or the expensive courses, they can definitely think about the credit courses because they, it's the affordable and also it helps for the PR also. Because That's ultimately right. international students are looking to settle down here. Like I, I think most of the 90% of the students want to settle down here. Mm. So the credit courses is the best option for them. I guess you know once students come to Australia, they don't want to go home. <laughs> they love here, right? Uh, yeah. We have a question, Julie and yeah. Vina, for you. So uh, uh, the question is, can girls also start this course like painting? Because mostly these job opportunities are for men. That's uh, the question. So um, Sunday, I'll go first. I'll go yeah. first, Vina. No. Now, I don't know where you're coming from. Uh, in Australia, very fair, very equal here. Actually, I find the female has more power in Australia than men, isn't it? <laughs> if you're female, you don't need to worry about anything you study in Australia. There's a full opportunity for the female, and we're all going to support the, all our female as well. And even the guys here, they're very respectful for all the you know, female. There's no need to. You will love it. You love to study here. You're glad that you made that choice. That you know, if you even just thinking about it, don't think anymore. Just come and experience. You you will regret if you do not make a choice now. There's much more opportunity in Australia. There's much more job and money in Australia than where you are. I can guarantee you that. Here can actually upgrade your your future very fast here. Right, Vina? Yes. Yeah. Yes, of course. And like Julie said before, it's not only the uh, site you work, like physically. There are many office work also available yes. when you complete these courses. So if you are not mentally prepared to work physically or you can't do that, even you can work through the office office work in the same field. So it's not only for the boys, it's for everyone. Even exactly. the AZ people, those who have been working in their field in back there in home country and they have like minimum qualification requirement, they can come and study this course. Yeah, that's correct. And another thing is, I probably want to talk about Australia, what's happening right now here. I don't know what happened in your country. Australia now is pretty, you know, safe and normal so everyone's still working everyone's still going out is still they cautious about the COVID-19 but everything happening in here that's why they do need a lot of workers here there's plenty of job here soon as you come in here I can guarantee you you can find the job next day so like I had a student yesterday he came from South Korea and he asked to me Julie I just arrived in Australia and everything looks great in here. He thought from the media, everything closed, nothing happening, but that's not true. Here is everything active here. So he came here, he was so glad he came and he was so happy, everything so clean, you know, you know, much more happening in here. Today he got the job. He got the job today and now he's working already. He's just so happy. Today he got the job, he's earning daily base, cash job, he's earning $250 per day. $250 per day he earning in Australian dollar. So this is, you can see, very easily you can get it in Australia. So for example, oh, I'm coming to Australia straight away, I don't want to work in the trade area, that's fine. So you come here, settle, then you will have uh, something easier, comfortable work started first. Maybe you can work in, as a cleaner, you can work in the restaurant, you can work in the office environment, anything you can do it. Start with, make yourself comfortable, and then when you get used to in Australia, 
you can slowly change the other job as well. There's no need to feel pressure to do straight away uh, because you're not familiar with that angle. So that another thing you don't need to worry. And most of the college in Australia, they do have a monthly plan. Some colleges also have a weekly plan as well. So for example, oh, I couldn't find the job early enough, so I couldn't pay. There is a flexibility within college as well. So you don't need to stress. As long as you explain to the college, look, I need a little bit of more time to pay, and then they will still give you some leniency as well, especially in this pandemic time. So that's another benefit that you can get it. It is the best time for you to study. Why? Online class is fantastic. You can work 40 hours per week at the moment. Imagine 40 hours, how much money you can earn, and you can study from home in your comfortable time as well. Really flexible in this time. So if I was you, this is the best time to come to Australia. This is the best time to study. That's what I can say. Thank you so much, Julie. Thank you so much, Bina. Uh, does anyone have any more questions? I don't think so. Another thing that I might just let them know, like, you know, I'm not sure whether I can do this one. It sounds great. It sounds awesome. But I'm not quite sure. You know, then go to Oji Guru and discuss about it. Let's say you made a choice. OK, for example, I'm going to study painting. I came to Australia. And then I find that, oh, no, painting is not for me. What should I do? This is nothing wrong. You can always change it to another course. So you don't need to feel pressure. So the most important thing is you need to make a move, make a choice and come. Even you made a dis uh, wrong decision, there's something that doesn't suit for you. It doesn't really matter. There's another flexibility coming through. You go back to the OG group, tell them, look, I studied Shalin for six months, but this is not really for me. I feel horrible about it. That's fine. You can always change the transfer to another course. So that's something you want to do it. So you don't have to feel too much pressure about you got to make a right decision right now. Otherwise, I'm going to make a big mistake. It's nothing like that. OK, so that's another thing I wanted to mention to students. Yeah, even when I was uh, when I first came here, I didn't know anyone. So I was so scared. I was telling my parents that I want to come back and I, I, I found the course difficult. So, you know, I think it's very important to, you know, give it some time because since the way we study here in Australia and then compared to our home country, it's completely different. So it takes a few weeks, a few days to adapt to the whole environment. That's Sometimes right. we just take an impulsive decision and we're like, you know, we don't want to do this course. We don't want to do that course. So maybe, you know, just we should give it time. That's right, Shalene. I, I so agree with you. I think we all, um, you know, international background. When we came to Australia, we study, we work here, and we're falling in love with Australia. At the end, we didn't want to go back to our country. We want to stay here. That's why we're still here. And uh, we promote it now because we want our students to do the, going to do the same thing. It is a great country. Even you don't want to stay here, just come and visit here. You will love it. You will love it. Until you try this country, you can't guess. You can't just imagine in where you are. You gotta try and you won't regret in here. But if you don't try, you will regret. As, as, as I said, whether you have a lot of money, whether you have no money, the opportunity, Australia is huge here. So you should take this. And then even you're just thinking about a go to OG group and discuss, talk about it, then you have to start something rather than think about it. If you're in this online seminar right now that you've been thinking about it, but you're scared, I don't know about Australia. You don't have to worry about it. You come to Australia, all these big office in Brisbane in here, 
you go there, there's a full support coming through. They're very nice people. They're all friendly. And you come to college, we're here. We will listen to you. We will support you. We will help you. It's like a family. We're all environment here. So that's another thing you have to feel comfortable. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. It takes time to make friends. It takes time to find a job. So, in, you know, just taking an impulsive decision, getting scared is not, I don't think uh, that's an option. Mm. We should come here, try. And everyone here in Australia is definitely extremely welcoming. Oh, yes. Definitely. I haven't been home for more than two years now. And I'm just like, I want to stay here for as long as I can. Yeah. That's I love Australia. That's right. You probably have to make a decision in this 2022. Am I going to keep worrying about it, think about it? Or am I going to do it? That's your decision. So my recommendation is it, do it. If you don't want to repeat the 2021, you want to start the new chapter, you need to do something about it. Whether you study trade course, whether you study something else, do something about it and then Come and visit us in Australia. Say hello to us. You will love it here. It's a beautiful country here. Definitely. And taking guidance from someone is always better because sometimes even when I didn't have anyone to guide me, I would just get, you know, wrong information from 20 different places. So it's definitely better to just come to one place, trust on one person and get all your questions answered. That's right. We agree too. Yeah. And I mean, Bina also will assist all the visa process as well. So, you know, they're all taking care of it. Cost-wise, very good price at the moment. If you wanted to come to Australia two, three years ago, you probably will never get this sort of price in Australia. We're very lucky now, the price is much com uh, comfortable for all the students. And now, Bina, are they still doing the refund for the student visa application? Uh, not a refund. You are asking about the refund? Yeah, I heard from the Australian news saying that any international student applies student visa, Australian government will give money back to them. Yes, there is few condition with that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like for everyone, but mm -hmm. there are few condition with that. So that's another good thing about it. Yeah. So you can save uh, over $700 that you can get money from the Australian government. How great is that? When I apply, I have to pay all And Julie, you guys offer the fast track course also, right? Yeah, that's another good thing. We do have a one year fast track course for all the students. And so make sure uh, if you want to uh, finish it uh, earlier due to your visa condition, please come and talk to us. There is a fast course available for the student who needs in that condition as well. So again, very flexible. We do have to be flexible to support the student so they can have a, a confidence to get back to study, get back to the life. And then there is a life here. It's a, such a great life here. Um, I had a student who successfully got all the uh, study, everything now. He's having a baby. He's dreamed to buy a house. He bought up houses where I was very happy for him. And he's from Nepal, and um, yeah, he, he's just so glad that he came to Australia. And now he's going to bring his parents uh, living in his house as well. It's good to see. It's good to see. So it that can be happen to you as well. So don't think too much. Go and talk to the Aussie group. Get the ticket. Come to Australia. <laughs> yeah. Um, Julie, Bina, do you guys uh, have anything else that you'd like to add? I think I think uh, I cover a lot, and I'm happy to take further, uh, you know, any question later on. If you guys get any email from the student, I'm Definitely. more than happy to talk. And I just want to say thank you, everyone who came to the seminar today. Um, you know, hope you got some good information, and hopefully, I can see you in Australia. And if you come, please come and say hello to me. Then I'll make a nice coffee for you. <laughs> if you don't drink coffee, I'll make tea. <laughs> um, Julie, maybe you can uh, drop your email ID in the description, in the chat box. Sure. So that if there's any questions. 
Thank you so much, everyone, for attending this session. Don't forget to leave your review for the session. Uh, I'll be leaving a review link in the chat box. Your feedback is much appreciated. Don't miss out our next information session on many more exciting topics. Join straight away through the links in the chat box. Thank you so much, Bina and Julie. It was lovely having you today. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day.